If you've been watching my last, you know, few videos, the recent ones, you will see that I've been including, you know, George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery, you know, in different segments of the video. But I did say of those videos, meant to say, but I did say the reason why I wasn't dedicating a video to George Floyd or putting his name in the title is because what I've noticed is that every time I attempt to be serious on this channel, especially if it's a sensitive subject according to YouTube, my videos are either blocked or they are flagged, which then prevents the message from going out to more people. So I figure out, okay, instead of putting his name in the title, you know, just Put whatever name in the title that you're talking about, but then in those videos, include your message so that YouTube don't block your video. Well, he's in the title. Portia Williams are out there protesting with Shimia, Lauren, and other people. So hopefully this video stays up. Now, in the last video, I posted about Portia daughter Pilar hair, you know, the braided extensions and all of that. And she received backlash about that. I said in that video, hey guys, you know, these are content that I already recorded a little while ago and I'm just uploading them now because I'm devastated about what's going on and I can't even bring myself to record current videos because that's how devastated I am. However, I still uploaded those videos. So the fact that I can still get up and upload a video about Portia Williams receiving backlash about her daughter um, hair being braided with extensions and she's like, you know, one. Then I can also upload Portia Williams being out there on the grounds, on the front lines and marching and protesting and all of that, okay? So that's what this is about. So what you're about to witness is um, Portia talking to the news outlet, Portia marching with you know her people. And then before all of that, she got on Instagram Live and just basically talked to her supporters. So the video in the end, was yesterday which was the march so if you hear her saying come out and support the march is already over the protest is already over for that day okay so let's go ahead and get into it what's up my Vina loves it's miss Vina d coming to you all from Vina team news what y'all doing today y'all at the house y'all chilling y'all safe Well, I'm sitting in my car. I'm waiting on my sister. I'm waiting on a couple of my girlfriends, a couple homies. And um, we are about to go to Centennial Park. And we're going to march for justice. We're standing up against police brutality. So if any of you guys are chilling at the house, not doing nothing, even if you're doing something, you might want to stop. And um, you should come join us.
everything that's going on today, I'm just like anybody else. I may be Portia. Known, but I am here to be a voice for the voiceless. Yes. What is going on in black America is not okay. We are not okay. We just want to live. And I am out here today to make sure that everybody understands that black lives matter. We want justice for George Ford Floyd's family. I know one cop has been arrested. We would like the other cops to be arrested and charged with murder. And we are going to protest until it is done. We're standing out here for anybody, any family who has suffered from police brutality. We are done. We're tired. And we are not going to take it anymore. We're not going to... I'm participating in a peaceful protest. That's what I'm looking for it to be. Um... Yeah, that's what I was told is organized as a peaceful protest, but I just can't sit at home. I'm just, I had to work earlier and somebody just dropped something in my, um, I had already seen it about the protest, but somebody put the comment in my, on my Instagram picture that I posted and I was like, I don't want to drive home. <laughs> I don't. Like, I don't want to drive home. I don't want to sit on Instagram. I don't want to, you know, read another headline. I don't want to cry another tear. I don't want to, you know, sit there and just feel helpless. So I just want to do whatever it is that I can do. And yes, I am absolutely going to be safe. Thank you guys for um, saying that. But let me tell you, I was almost home. Okay. And I was like, you know what? Let me turn this car around. Let me turn this car around. And so I did. And so um, anyway, I'm going to... Um, I hope my people are on time. Um, it's 2.12. And they said that they were... Tiffany, what's up, boo? You coming? Okay. Um she's uh, anyway I just most people who are coming with me personally um, I just called five minutes ago and I'm like get up whatever you're doing if you ain't wash your ass don't worry about it I want to stand up and I want to show that I am like-minded with the people who are fighting for our black people and that I stand with everyone who's in Minnesota who is really just frustrated and just feel alone and even some who may be acting out because of their frustration and hurt um that they're they want to be heard and if i can even help just by being out there just to lift the voice even more then so be it okay then that's what i'm just gonna do i'm just trying to eat a little bit healthy not for any reason not necessarily to lose weight or anything i'm just tired of feeling the back of my back touching itself them rolls starting to get on my nerves. They all right, but they don't bother me, bother me. But they have a serious arch in my back. And, you know, you, know, you can feel it. That's when you know you've really been acting up when you can feel the rolls. Not just that they're there, but you can like feel them. I'm like, okay. Let me reel this in a little bit. So... Can I go live during the protest? Um, sure. I know. I saw that the officer who, the first officer in the front who had his knee actually on his neck, I saw that he has been arrested. Um, okay. Arrest the other three officers. The one who was on his back, the one who was on his legs. And the one who was trying to block from the people seeing that was going on. So, or thank, thank you. But every, make them rounds. I'm sure they all live close. Stop at their house and pick them up too. I mean, what's not even a question. Yeah, I'm just pissed. Exactly. Tra arresting them is just one thing. Charge them. 
because we have already seen them get arrested and be released but see what they'll do is arrest them to calm everybody down oh we arrested them calm down we hear you okay arrest them and charge them with murder give them life um oh I do want to know if anybody can DM me some of the larger organizations that are in Minnesota who are putting together peaceful protests any marching or any gathering that's organized please DM it to me um I wanted to share that information with someone. So, if anybody is actually there on the ground in Minnesota, if you could send me um, the information of whomever is trying to organize a peaceful protest. I just don't understand what they I'm talking about. They investigating. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry I'm eating and talking to y'all at the same time, but it's twelve to it's two twenty two and they will be here in a minute and I don't wanna eat outside the car. We're still in the pandemic, so I'm eating in the car, wash my hands, move forward, so excuse me for chewing and chomping while we on here. Trump almost had my ass full. I saw him say the other day it was very awful, it was a very, very bad thing. Very bad. I was like, okay. Maybe he's about to stand up for us. Then just to see him say something like. I can't remember exactly what he said in a tweet, but more looting, more shooting. I think that's what he said. It's just awful. It sounds like he's putting a hit on us. funny he's calling them thugs but yeah you got an undercover police officer officer who is out here trying to create all the ruckus and they're gonna try to run but we see you with the umbrella like who the hell else out here with an umbrella gas mask this and it's the same gas mask the other police have sir you stole the gas mask from work and you think that those people aren't going to know who you are. Glad your ex-wife. To ex-wives come to bite. Identified your butt. But that's the oldest trick in the book. They used to do that back in the day. Go and you know. Set a building on fire or whatever. Do something. I feel like they're doing that. He's doing that. And they're set setting other people up. Other police officers to go undercover. And create all of this ruckus. And make them look like they are just wild and uncontrollable so that when the police come in they can escalate to the next level of force right because if they're peaceful and you know they're not burning down buildings and not doing all this kind of stuff then they can't necessarily come out there spraying pepper gas in people's face and shooting from the top of the roofs right but if you can go out there and make it look like they are absolutely crazy and have lost it and it's tearing the city up, then they're going to escalate their level of force in which they're dealing with those protesters. So that's why it is so dangerous in what that officer was doing. And his ass needs to be prosecuted for doing that. But I doubt it. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I just ain't been able to really sleep for real. I got bags under my eyes. All this makeup is making me look okay, but like I have serious bags under my eyes. I have a really bad headache. This is stressful. This is stressing me. 
So the only thing that I'm thinking that can make me feel involved is to physically do something. And so that's why we're meeting at Centennial Park to march stressful. Right? Yeah. It's stressful like it's your own family member because he looked like a family member of mine. It's stressful because I've never, I've seen death before, but it was a loved one and they had been sick and something. But it's stressful because I've never seen some somebody's life leave their body in the killer looking dead into the camera like that. I've never seen that. I, Like I told you, it took me like a whole day to watch the video. Just never seen that. I'm, and I wasn't even there and, I, and I'm traumatized. It's ridiculous. My heart goes out to the family. I send my love and my prayers to those families who have suffered and who have lost someone from police brutality. I wanna say that while I'm on this live. Why are you just sad? And let's stand up for what's right. Some of y'all, oh, I end up marching, it doesn't matter, it doesn't do anything. Guess what? At least we are standing together. At least we're showing that we care. At least we're not doing just the Instagram posts. We're being active. And we're trying to be the voice of people who don't have a voice. For the people who don't have a voice. That's all. And showing that we're not going to just lay down for this anymore. We're done laying down. I know I'm done. I can't hear another story. I really can't. I'm done. Like for real. Like I I'm taking this like super personal very 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 personal like for real like people I know who not saying nothing like it's really burning me up like I need everybody to speak up on it have something to say and post about where you need to call by the way on my page I also posted um where you can uh Sean King put, has put a number up where you can call to continue to demand justice for George Floyd and it will get you to the officials and if we could just blow their phone up yes if you call the line will be busy but continue to call like you was gonna call if your cable was off hang up and call again and call again and call again and call again Okay, you guys keep telling me that he's arrested. Thank you. I know that. We all, we want everybody else to be arrested as well. And to be honest, even if they all were arrested, I still would be out here today because I'm outraged. Like, I, I'm furious. Even if they all were arrested because I want them charged as well. So... I know, I know. This is not my usual mood on Instagram. This is not my usual live, but I'm tired. I'm tired. And to those coming for, you know, celebrities, well, not all, but some saying that, you know, they are just out there for photo op reasons and they're not out there for genuine reasons and things like that. I'm gonna use Portia for example. Okay, Portia is on the Red House of Atlanta. We know that, you know, they need storylines and things like that for the season. My thing is, even if this right here ended up on an episode of the Red House of Atlanta, is it really a bad thing? Because that's a huge platform to share something like this to raise more awareness, okay? And the fact that it was hot 
we are still in the middle of a pandemic amongst all of those people she have a young child and she was still out there with her friends like you heard her say she called people within five minutes of deciding this and they dropped everything and they came out so we have to know where to draw the line we see these people on tv and we've seen some of their behavior but there are times that we all have to come together especially in moments like this and let go of all of the you know petty stuff like this moment right here it didn't matter that they had back and forth with each other and dragging each other, but when Nene started crying, they formed a circle around her and a sisterhood. Sisterhood. <laughs> That's how Nene says it. But um, anyways, yeah, including Kenya. And Kenya was the one saying, Candy, you gonna get up? And Candy was like, y'all are so fake. Y'all was just dragging each other and now y'all wanna all do the kumbaya. And... But Nene was crying that moment about her mom and it didn't matter everyone stood up if you look closely with the caption you will see kenya moore name is tagged sheree name is tagged kim zosiak name is tagged every almost everyone name is tagged and these are people that nini had huge issues with but when she announced that greg had cancer it didn't matter everybody reached out so this moment right here is not the time to be like, oh, she's not being genuine. She's out there. So applaud her. Now, I'm not saying that Portia was coming for anyone, you know, when she said basically for the people who are not using the platform or are not saying anything like she's upset. I said exactly what Rihanna wrote before Rihanna even posted. But because Rihanna posted, let's go ahead and read her caption. She posted an image of George Floyd and she wrote, For the last few days, the magnitude of devastation, anger, sadness I felt has been overwhelming to say the least. Watching my people get murdered lynched day after day put me to a heavy place in my heart to the point of staying away from socials just to avoid hearing the blood. I'm gonna jump around, okay? The agony in George Floyd's words again, begging over and over for his life. The look of enticement, the pure joy and climax on the face of, of this murderer pig, okay? And she went ahead and mentioned the officer name, and Derek hunts me. I can't shake this. I can't get over an ambulance pulling up to an arrest, a paramedic checking a pulse without removing the very thing that's hindering it. Is this that bleeping normal? If intentional murder is the fit consequence for drugs or resisting arrest, then what's the fit consequence for murder? Exactly. Another thing that I do want to say that we need to stop shaming people. I completely understand we live in a day and age where doing it for the gram, uh, posting it on social media means you're doing something. But just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. There are people who are so devastated, like Rihanna wrote, that they're having moments of silence just by themselves or their family or their families. They're crying, they're praying, you know, they're staying away from social media, they post everything they do because we live in a culture and society where if it's not posted, it didn't happen. I understand, I mean, if you're gonna speak about everything else and you're on social media tweeting about the reality show and all of that, then definitely be on social media tweeting, you know, or posting about this. But this one, people process differently. Kudos to Portia for being able to go and march. There are people who can physically go to march. But when I tell you they have brought awareness by posting videos, posting numbers, posting, you know, different links, posting the petition, I mean, they have gone above and beyond using social media. So just because someone cannot do what you are doing doesn't mean that they're not doing anything. And I love what Rihanna wrote because people were on her page coming for her. 
it's been a few days why are you not posting up about this rihanna why are you quiet are you going to speak up and she just explained in her post the reason why it took her a few days even me on a channel instagram page i'm a very detail oriented person but my caption was so short basically devastated crying emoji i can barely post this i'll be back when i'm able to post a longer caption something like that and some people also feel like really another post another hashtag is this really life like i have to post another black man dead again due to police brutality or for racist reasons i have to post another hashtag you know like didn't we just post a mod picture and hashtag and then a few weeks later this we were also just talking about brianna taylor's it gets tiring and frustrating i completely understand and that's why you see some people do the here here you go i posted now leave me alone you have those people who don't really care but it's like here you go i posted now can i cannot go back to my life everyone processes things differently it's, it's too much and i'm not here for the violence and all of that but i understand the rage i understand the anger i understand that enough is enough and that's that I'm praying for everybody. I'm praying for the families. The end of here, my friend, I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post you where they're posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless you.